In this video we're going to talk about soft tooling, often referred to as RTV molding as well. RTV stands for room temperature vulcanizing and it's the room temperature part that you want to pay attention to. Um, <clears throat> whereas a process like injection molding requires heating pellets of plastic up into a, a molten state, uh, silicone tooling or, or RTV molding uh, works at room temperatures. Um, it, it's a bridge process that is used to create plastic parts that are very similar to their injection molded counterparts. Uh, I use the term bridge process because um, it, you can use soft tooling to make um, uh, more parts usually for less money and that have better material properties. By better material properties, I just mean closer to what the injection molded counterpart would be. Uh, then you could, uh, then you could with with uh, like uh, machining or three D printing. Um, so uh, the um, the quantities that you should think about for this this bridge process are uh, if you're if you're looking to make you know maybe more than 25 parts and fewer than a few hundred parts something like that uh, that's that's a good uh, quantity to start thinking about um, uh, soft tooling uh, when you create the tool or when your shop creates the tool uh, it, it's going to last for somewhere between 25 to 50 shots shots is just a term that's used to refer to the, the number of parts that can be made. Um, it's used in injection molding as well as, um, as self-tooling. But you can probably get 25 to 50 parts before the tool starts breaking down. Uh, since it is a soft tool made of you know, silicone or urethane, uh, relatively soft materials, think about like uh, the tip of an eraser, um, something like that. Uh, it, it does wear and break down over time. So 25 to 50 parts, uh, your tool is going to start breaking down and uh, the, the geometry is not going to be quite as clean on the, the molded parts. And at that point, you want to replace the tool. Um, so anyway, keep that in mind that 25 to 50 parts, somewhere in that neighborhood is what you can expect the life of a soft tool to be. Um, as far as cost, um, uh, if you're injection molded in something, uh, you're going to be paying, you know, I don't know, $10,000 plus for a steel injection molding tool. And uh, that injection molding tool will produce parts that are really cheap. You know, maybe they're 10 cents for a part or maybe they're 50 cents for a part. Anyway, they're very inexpensive. Um, for, uh, for soft tooling, the reason it's called a bridge process is because your tool is a lot less expensive than a steel injection molding tool, but your parts are actually more, uh, in fact, quite a bit more expensive than your injection molding parts. But when you amortize the tool cost across the number of parts that you're making, overall, it becomes much less expensive to make parts using a, a soft tool than it does injection molding. For example, you might, you might pay, um, maybe, I don't know, $1,000 or $1,500 for a silicone tool, um, whereas that same tool might be you know $10,000 or $15,000 if you were injecting it using a steel tool. Um, and, but your part price for, for these uh, soft-tooled parts, you, you might be you know, $25, $35, $40, so, something somewhere in that range. Uh, so the part prices are quite a bit more than what you'd get from injection molding, but uh, because your tool is so much less expensive and because you're not looking to make hundreds of thousands of parts, overall uh, the, the cost for uh, a soft tool is, is going to be less. Why is the cost for the parts for soft tool and tooling uh, much more expensive? I thought that they were the same plastic melted pellets. Great question. Um, uh, two answers. First off, they are not the same uh, melted plastic pellets. So RTV is the room temperature vulcanizing and uh, that room temperature extends to the material. Uh, what happens is two, two liquid resins are typically combined and those resins are mixed 
uh, into a, a final mixture and poured at room temperature into your silicone mold and that's what uh, then hardens and, and creates your part. Um, the reason they're more expensive than uh, injection molding is because there's a, a lot more labor involved. With injection molding, the process is all automated. You push go on your injection molding machine and it starts cranking out parts, you know, every 30 seconds, every minute, whatever it is. Whereas with soft tooling, uh, you have someone that, that has to, um, well, first of all, create the mold, but one, once the mold's created, uh, you have someone who has to physically pour that resin, that mixed, you know, two-part resin into your mold, make sure it's filled just to the right level, and then seal it off, uh, and then <clears throat> wait for the parts to, to, to solidify and become hard, you know, physical parts. Then they have to take the tool apart manually, open it up, and they have to pull the part out, and there's usually some level of finishing that goes on there. So it's just an overall much more manual process than injection molding. If you've found this content helpful, consider enrolling in our signature program at mypipelineacademy.com. Whether you're an individual interested in beginning a new career as a mechanical designer or a company interested in training your new engineering hires, our signature program helps students develop the practical skills they need to be productive mechanical design engineers. Seating is limited. We hope to see you there soon.